and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today's card is a really quick and easy one. Um, and when we're making Christmas cards, sometimes we need quick and easy. We need to be able to knock out a great big pile of them. And I'm going to use the To You and Yours stamp set. Now this actually coordinates with some shaker cards, which are really cool. So I will show you um, how we make those on another video. But today I'm just using the stamp set um, on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my tree first. And I'm going to do a different layout than I did on the previous card. Just something different, but the same kind of design. So I'm stamping my tree. And I'm going to stamp the bucket that the tree is sitting in. And then I'm going to stamp the star on the top of the tree. And I do love photopolymer for being able to line these up without the use of a stamp and a jig. It's so nice to be able to just see straight through. Okay. Well, that tree looks quite pretty, but I think it needs some decoration. And as I say, keeping it really simple, I'm going to use, this is from the same stamp set, I'm going to use these little stars. Now, as I always say when I'm teaching, the smaller the stamp, the lighter the touch. Now, some of these uh, stars are, as you can see, off the edge of the tree, but it really doesn't matter at all because they just, whoops, it just gives... A really kind of pretty, I'm going to put an extra one off the edge, really pretty effect. I bring that up close, can you see? So it's just giving some colour to the tree, putting some little stars on there but without it being um, anything very, um, very heavy. I'm going to use a marker, um, this is the, um, the same colour as the ink, so this is the delightful Dijon. And I'm going to colour in the star, just peeping around the camera here. Put a little bit of colour along there as well. And I think for the, um, the pot that it's sitting in, I'm going to use some um, a blender pen and some crumb cake here. Just give it a little bit of a little bit of light and shade on there, which I didn't do on the other one. But I'll just a little bit of extra, just for you. Okay, that's good. Apart from where I went over the top, here's a little tip. Did you know if you take a blank, uh, uh, an empty blender pen, you can actually lift off some of the ink. It's not perfect, but it is taking some of that little bit where I went over the edge. And what I might do is actually put a bit of shading underneath there when I'm done. So it looks like I meant to do that. And then we want a Merry Christmas. And this is Merry Christmas to you and yours. And I'm going to pop that down at the bottom. There is also in this same stamp set uh, a Happy Holiday Wishes as well. And lots of other bits and pieces that make pretty Christmas cards. I'm going to stick my layer of Whisper White. You can see this was where I was thinking of having it the other way around. <laughs> you always have an emergency side with Stampin' Up. Whoops. So there you go. Which one do you like the best? I think I like the, the tall one, actually. That's, that's doing it for me. I hope you've enjoyed your quick and simple um, quick and easy visit to Elizabeth's craft room today. Um, let me know if you'd like this stamp set to make your Christmas cards. Um, you can contact me at elizabethscraftroom.blogspot.com and I'd be delighted to help. Thanks for visiting today. Love.